So we're looking at the left side of the projector, the IQ projector. There's just three buttons that we're going to use. We've got on and off. We've got input one, two, input three or four. So we hit the on. It takes a few minutes for it to come on. When it comes on, you have the IQ background screen and at the top left, it will show up there if you've got a, a, a projector bulb out. It's actually got a picture of four, like a cartoon, like four light bulbs and it'll show you if any of those four are out. If they're working, it'll be yellow background. If the light bulb's out, it'll turn to red. Um, so we've got a DVD input, which we just talked about. Now, it do, does say input one, two, three, four. So on a DVD, we actually have got two of those. It goes from two different wirings, um, and we'll select one or the other. We'll just kind of look at the picture and see. I, I, think, I think one's analog, one's digital on the picture. But anyway, you've got two options on DVD, and uh, we just pick the one, click it on one, it's input one, click it again, it's input two, click it again, it's input one, back and forth. Input three and four is computer. So if you put a computer here, or if you put it on stage, then you'll need to hit three or four, and it's the same way. It's got two wires to it, um, and there'll be a little difference in quality in the two. Um, the front, I've got the screws out. This panel, there is a projector lens in the front here. It does two things. It does zoom in and out, and it also does focus. So when you zoom in and out, it changes the focus. But the reason that we adjust this is if we've got a meeting here, if it is adjusted a wide angle so that the movie is taking up the entire screen, then the light is directly in the speaker's face. So we can zoom that in closer, narrow it up. Uh, it'll take about three, three and a half feet off each side so it's not as directly in their face, and then you adjust it. It's, it's, it takes two people to do because your line of sight is so low here, but you need to find uh, some lettering, preferably a white background with black. And what I normally do is I'll just set my phone out on the speaker and, and I'll just adjust it, and you've got to adjust one, the other, and back and forth. You get the zoom right, the focus is off. Set the focus, the zoom's off. And so it's, it's kind of a barrier to get done, but it's worth it. And in the same way, when you go back to a movie, you adjust it back the other way. You pull it back wide angle, and you set your picture with that. 